In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download Landsat 9 satellite imagery from a completely free source. And the portal that I'm going to be using for this is USGS Earth Explorer web portal. So one of the easiest ways of getting to that web portal is by simply doing a Google search. You can search for USGS Earth Explorer and that should get you to this portal right over here which is earthexplorer.usgs.gov. I'll put the link in the description below as well in case if you want to directly click on it and head over to this portal right here. And you'll be presented with a view like this. So as you can see, since we have this kind of a map given for navigation purposes, it's going to be quite easy for us to directly zoom into our area of interest and uh, sort of start refining our search if you would like to do that. However, to use this web portal, you need to have an account with USGS and, and creating an account is actually going to be extremely easy if you head over to login over here and uh, if you go to create new account, you can get started by adding a username, a password and after that you can just confirm your password. It's going to take you through a couple, of, uh, a couple more pages where they're going to ask a few more questions. So I, I recommend you to first go through that process and get yourself registered. They're going to send a confirmation to your email. And once you have completely registered, you're going to get a username and a password. And using that, what we can do is we can again come back to this original page, go to login. And you can simply put in your username and password uh, right over here. After that, we can go ahead and click on sign in and that should take you directly to the portal and uh, right right over here you can see that we have logged in fully which means now we can actually start uh, browsing around and we can directly go ahead and download the data that we're looking for as well so as i told you you can use this map window to basically navigate into your area of interest let's say for example if i'm looking for some landsat imagery for the southern part of ireland just as an example what i'm going to do is i'm just going to first zoom into my sort of corresponding area so I'm going to make sure that I'm on this polygon tab after that I'm just going to head over to the map and basically through single clicks I'm just going to add vertices like this which would eventually build up my polygon that demarcates the area just like this and now you'll have to specify a date range when it comes to downloading your data and it might be beneficial for you to be aware of the timelines pertaining to various Landsat missions and uh, the progression from, well, 1970s where they launched the very first Landsat mission and the progression from those times to now. So Landsat 9 is the current and the latest mission which was launched in September year 2021 and its products came online sometime in year 2022. So if you're strictly looking for Landsat 9 imagery, then that availability period is something that you have to keep in mind. By the same time, you can see that uh, there still has been a lot of coverage by previous Landsat missions in the preceding years. So in case if you are looking to download satellite imagery from those years, you can actually take a look at uh, this timeline to see which Landsat missions you should be looking for in order to obtain uh, the corresponding information. And I'll put the link to this uh, helpful article down in the description below as well. So right over here, I'm just going to add the date to be maybe 1st of December in year 2022 all the way until the 1st of maybe January in year 2024. And after that, uh, we can go ahead and specify a cloud cover as well. Typically, we would be aiming for something with less cloud cover unless you're specifically doing some research or some studies pertaining to, to the presence of cloud cover in, uh, in satellite imagery. And after that, you can go to datasets. Now, when it comes to your dataset, you can see a bunch of different things that you can actually download from this Earth Explorer web portal. So right around here, you'll be able to see the option to download Landsat images. Just expand that. And typically, we would go for this Landsat Collection 2 Level 2. And from here, we can select this first option, which uh, pertains to Landsat 8 to 9 images, which means we're actually going to get access to Landsat 8 images with this selection as well. 
and after that we can directly go to results so it's going to take a couple of uh, seconds to sort of load up the results and uh, right over here you can see all the available well uh, Landsat images and the very small image that you see over here is basically sort of a true color snapshot this might not really be appropriate for you to kind of get a sense of what the actual tile should be looking like but just by looking at this picture alone you probably might be able to get some idea about the coverage and uh, if it's just full of clouds or not and stuff like that and at the same time when it comes to the description you'll see the date acquired right over here for basically every uh, result block so this one was acquired in 2023 30th of July so you can see that the results are going to be within the date range that we specified and uh, well there's going to be another page if I go to next it's going to basically load up that set of results as well and to know whether these products correspond to Landsat 8 or Landsat 9 you can see that right at the beginning of each name tag so if it's LC8 that should be referring to Landsat 8 mission however if it's LC9 it should be referring to the Landsat Collection 9 so since this video is all about Landsat 9 images and since this image looks quite alright to me what I'm going to do is I'm going to first click on this show footprint button which is not really a mandatory thing to do but uh, it's going to basically show me the footprint of this particular data set or this particular Landsat tile and as you can see a majority of that tile is actually going to fall outside of uh, the area that I'm interested in so this potentially might not be the the data set that I should be going for so I'm just going to deactivate that and maybe get to the one below that and you can see that uh, that tile basically covers majority of the area for which I would like to download this data for so if that seems alright another thing that you can do is now since you already saw the footprint you also can actually see how that image actually looks by letting, letting it display this kind of a true color sort of an image you can immediately start noticing that it's kind of full full of clouds so this potentially might not be something that I'm really interested in downloading so I'm going to deactivate that and maybe I'm going to head back to the previous page and then I'll try to see just from the preview that you can see over here whether I can find an image with less amount of cloud maybe this one let's see how that looks well that seems to be slightly better I'm just going to go with it so to download this you can basically head over to this button right over here which is this download options and from here I'm going to select this level 2 surface reflectance bands and if you want to individually look at the files you can actually go to this select files option and you can start seeing what kind of files you're going to download and by default you can see that all the files are basically selected so I'm just going to let it be like that or right, after that what I can do is I can actually say add all all of these selected files to bulk like this and after that you can just close this and then you can head over to this item basket uh, right over here and then you can click on start order and I'm just going to give my order a name Landsat name underscore Southern Island after that I'm just going to click on this submit product selections and after that we can just say start downloading now that should open up uh, something called a bulk download web application just keep in mind that uh, to use this you have to be using a Chrome based internet browser or Microsoft Edge so you can just go ahead and click on this launch bulk download application and that should basically show you your order and I'm going to click on this open order button from here and then it should automatically open up this kind of a download window you just select the corresponding folder and finally you can just go ahead and say begin download so with that we're going to have to give it a couple of minutes for the downloading process to complete so once the files are downloaded this is how it's going to look so right here in the middle you can see the corresponding date and this is basically the same for every file as you can see over here 
and uh, at the end you will see a unique notation to each file as well especially this set of files where you can see some sort of ordering starting from b1 b2 b3 and so on all the way up to b7 so well technically this is the end of this tutorial i was just uh, intending to show you guys how to well officially download this data set from a source like uh, usgs earth explorer but before i wrap up this tutorial in case if you're wondering what each of these notations or files actually mean they correspond to the various landsat spectral bands as you can see here on this page so what you see within brackets here is basically the wavelength in micrometers which uh, corresponds to each spectral band with its spatial resolution on the right hand side now in my next video i'm actually going to do a deep dive into interpreting these spectral band imagery files to make the concept really clear for you guys and potentially discuss some applications around why landsat products are carefully organized this way and if that interests you i'll link that video in the description so you can check that out as well interesting stuff so i'll see you guys in the next video